Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have a tricky topic to read on today so I'm going to have to tread carefully and at the outset I am going to state what I always state that this is a tarot reading for entertainment purposes only. These are my opinions and please form your own opinions, do your own research, come to your own conclusions. Now the topic today is why does Prince Harry hate Thomas Markle so much? I'm going to be looking at the energy around their relationship, well their lack of relationship, and in particular I'm going to be looking at what Meghan Markle might have told her father. We know from Lady C that when she was writing her book, researching her book on Meghan Markle a few years ago and she was still quite favorably disposed towards Meghan Markle, we know that someone phoned Lady C allegedly, somebody in close to the Harkles and told Lady C that Thomas Markle had, to use Lady C's word, interfered with Meghan when she was a child, living with him. And we also know that Neil Sean has just come out with his showbiz channel and made a similar allegation. He was very careful with what he said, but Thomas Markle has just done a TV interview, I think with Dan Whitton, and said that until she met Prince Harry, Meghan Markle was quite a different person. She never lied, but suddenly, after becoming involved with Prince Harry, she started to lie a lot. Now, you know what I'm talking about, the lies, the specific lies I'm talking about, so I don't have to get too explicit here on this channel. But I have six, as usual, scripted questions. I have shuffled the cards before, and let us just see what the cards want to tell us. Six questions, and we will try and see what is really going on with Prince Harry and his father-in-law, Thomas Markle. Father-in-law he has never met. And the underlying energy, regular right away, tarot underlying energy is the tower in the reverse. So things have come crashing down and very publicly, very notably, and there is the two of cups in reverse, the breakup card falling out the relationship between Megan and her father is effectively destroyed at this time. The tarot is just confirming that for us. Not news to us, not something we needed to find out from the tarot. But let us just look and see what the current energy is, what the vibe is around Prince Harry and Thomas Markle right now. Wow, we get the devil right out the gate. Haven't seen the devil for a while in my readings. The devil in the reverse. So somebody is coming out of a toxic situation and possibly somebody's eyes are being opened. Very interesting energy that the possibly Prince Harry is beginning to wake up to some of the lies, alleged lies that his wife has told him because the devil is the archetypal liar, the ultimate liar in the tarot. Never a true word is spoken by this creature. In the reverse, some truths are coming out about some of the things that have been said and there is a separation because the devil in reverse means being released from a toxic situation that possibly Thomas Markle feels that he has been released from a toxic situation and is now free to express his truth but possibly also Prince Harry is beginning to see the truth around the situation with his father-in-law and eyes are opening very interesting not an energy that I was expecting to see there not at all all. So, how does Prince Harry currently feel towards Thomas Markle? Nine of Wands. Prince Harry at the moment 
is feeling very guarded, very... Uh, he's, he's got his walls up. He's not letting Thomas Markle in. He's not letting Thomas Markle through that barrier that he's put up around him. There is no access at this point. Phone calls unanswered. If flowers are delivered to the door at Montecito, at Mudslide Mansion, flowers are not acknowledged. There is no, no communication. But Prince Harry, it's, it's more than just no communication. Prince Harry is feeling quite battered and bruised. He has believed what he has been told up until now, but it's given him a big headache. The Nine of Wands always has that person, that wounded warrior there with a bandage around his head. Thomas Markle is a major headache for Prince Harry. Prince Harry has so far fought the good fight and resisted Thomas Markle, resisted any form of communication, any form of contact with him, but he's he's tired now. He's, he's worn out from this and he's feeling doubtful about whether he has actually fought the right fight, whether he, the truth that he has been defending is the actual truth. So there's a, a very strong feeling of doubt coming off this card. doesn't normally come off this card, but this feeling of doubt and this person who's, who's feeling alone, who's feeling like they have to keep their guard up, but they really aren't sure whether they took made the right decision interesting energy we're getting and of course because it's next to this devil card in reverse very strong idea that harry now has doubts about the path that he has chosen and the fact that he has really just blocked his father-in-law completely so why has prince harry never met thomas markle six of swords in the reverse a six of swords in the reverse is being stuck in a sorrowful situation. There's Harry and Meghan who found freedom. They left, of course, they left the, the royal circle and they embarked on their own little journey together. But they haven't got anywhere. They haven't succeeded in leaving that difficult situation. And Prince Harry feels that he and Meghan are stuck in a difficult situation with Thomas Markle, one that they cannot put behind them. He would like to put it behind him. He would like to be free of this energy around Thomas Markle, but he doesn't feel able to move on from it. And I think that Meghan Markle has told him that she is unable to put the past behind her, her difficult relationship with her father, and move on from it. So there's a whole a lot of storylines coming from this card. Their own, Harry and Meghan's own inability to move on from their difficult, their what they view as a difficult situation, but also Meghan's inability, alleged inability to move on from her difficult relationship with her father and let go of it and find calmer waters. Hasn't been able to, and so Prince Harry has not been able to form a relationship with his father-in-law because of that difficult past situation that hasn't been resolved. So, has Meghan Markle lied to Prince Harry about her father, her upbringing, just in general? What has she told Prince Harry about growing up with Thomas Markle? And that's a very, very strange card to come out because that is the Strength card, the Meghan Markle card, the Leo card. And I'm reading it to say that she had to be so strong when she was growing up. She literally, the, the Strength card is about mastering your lower nature, your animal nature, that is its most basic interpretation, self-mastery, that she was this poor innocent girl who had to tame this beast. She was alone. She had to become so strong, so feisty, this independent woman. She had to pay for her own university tuition. She had to go out into the world and cleave her own path in the world 
her father couldn't be counted on, her father couldn't be relied on. She had to do it all herself. She had to become the strong figure that is depicted in this card. So she has sold Harry a line about her life, how she had to battle through difficulties, unassisted, unaided, all alone in the world. But look what a strong woman she has become as a result of these challenges that she had to go through. It's made her arcana. It is a big story that she has told. Allegedly, tarot reading, entertainment purposes, all of that. So we get to the really tricky question here. Has Megan told Harry that Thomas Markle interfered with her? Let's use that word as a girl. Now get Ace of Wands in reverse. And normally I would say that that's a resounding no. Because Aces in reverse are normally no's when you're asking a direct yes, no question. So that would be the surface answer. No, she didn't ever explicitly say that. But because it's the Ace of Wands, which is a very sexual card, I can read this in a very different way and say that that kind of energy was diverted instead of being healthy and positive and upright that kind of energy was negative and potentially allegedly abusive i can read it that way i am getting the second interpretation more strongly than the first if such allegations were put to prince harry it would have been done in quite an underhand way by innuendo insinuation in such a way that she could turn around and say that's not what i meant i never said it like that i didn't mean it like that i'm really getting the vibe off here that it was done in a very sneaky way if it was said and it was used to wind him up and to make him feel that he had to defend her he had to fight this good fight be can't be all battered and bruised that this was a situation that they as a couple could not move on from and she could not move on from i think my opinion that she is a master manipulator and has manipulated Prince Harry in this situation very, very uh, profoundly manipulated him. Horrible energy coming off this card. Really horrible energy. I didn't expect to get good energy in this reading, but mm, not, not good at all. Not good. So, will the truth ever come out? Will Prince Harry realize at some stage that he was duped uh if he was duped will he realize it how will he feel if he realizes if the scales fall from his eyes which seem to be in this card what do we have wow ten of pentacles it's going to be very hard for him because this whole family thing that he's built up with Meghan markle all his security, his sense of safety, his sense of continuity with her, that they're building a, a future together, a foundation together that is going to endure, that is all going to come crashing down, crashing down like we've already seen with the Tower and the Two of Cups as the underlying energy of this reading, this Tower crashing down, could in fact be the Harkle's relationship falling apart ultimately when the truth is revealed. I think I'm going to leave it there. There's some other thoughts percolating at the moment, but I think I've asked enough. We've seen enough. Some interesting cards have come out. And again, my opinion, 
Do you form your own opinions? Think about it yourselves and you decide for yourselves. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I'll see you in the next one.